Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy, and in today's lesson, we're gonna learn Stevie Wonder's amazing tune, Isn't She Lovely? Now, this is part of a three-part series. In today's lesson, we're gonna learn this tune in an easier key for the saxophone. So even if you're just beginning on the sax, you should be able to play this tune fairly easily. All right, let's get started. <laughs> So Stevie Wonder wrote Isn't She Lovely in the key of E major. So when we transpose that for alto saxophones, that puts us into C sharp or D flat major. And for tenor saxophones, that puts them into F sharp major, which are two of the trickiest keys to play on sax. But if we transpose this just down one half step, it puts us into the nice easy C major, which means no sharps, no flats on the alto. And F major, you've only got B flats, which is the most common flat on the tenor sax. There's a link in the description below where you can get your free PDF of the sheet music of this with all the note names written out, as well as a backing track that you can play along with. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of this series and other future lessons. Now, as well as changing the key, we're also gonna cut down the length to make it a bit easier this week. The structure of this song is we have the introduction and then a 16 bar chorus, which he then sings again. Now in the original, he then goes on to play that on the harmonica, he sings again, and then he does another harmonica solo. So in this week's easier version, we're gonna be going around that chorus twice. And to finish the song off, we're gonna be joining in with that fast triplety pentatonic line, which for altos, we're running up the C major pentatonic, which is C, D, E, G, A. And for tenor saxophones, that would be the F major pentatonic, F, G, A, C, D. Both of these pentatonics, I would try to memorize those because they come up in all sorts of songs and they're really useful for general improvising as well. Okay, so here's this week's easy version of the song. Alright, so don't forget, next week we're going to be learning this song in its original key, along with those two harmonica solos. So hit subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on that. And the backing track and the PDF for today's lesson are down in the description below. Alright, I'll see you next week.